John Carter might have been a movie that slipped under everyone's radar. The reason behind that is, well, as much as it's an action-packed sci-fi movie, it doesn't really tell much of a tale. Based on Edgar Rice Burroughs' 1912 epic science fiction book, A Princess of Mars, the movie primarily takes place in, you guessed it, Mars. This book wasn't the first of its kind, though it was one of the first science fiction novels of the modern era. Since then, we've been blessed with a plethora of sci-fi novels, movies, TV shows, and video games that talk about one sole thing, life on Mars. Let's just say it's been a dream for many to set foot on Mars. Although Elon Musk has more than a decade's worth of work before he sends people to Mars, recent indications received by scientists seem more sci-fi than reality. When we do go to Mars, we might not be the only ones out there. So, what's waiting to greet us on the surface of Mars? Could there be life beneath the frozen and desiccated surface of Mars? There could be, according to a team of experts. Scientists say that microbes might have been surviving untroubled since the time dinosaurs walked the Earth based on the results of a study published in the journal Astrobiology. There is a type of bacteria that is so tough and resilient that it has been nicknamed Conan the Bacterium. Its true name is Deinococcus radiodurans, and this impervious microbe is resistant to freezing and heat, acid, dehydration, vacuum conditions, and radiation. It can survive enormous doses of radiation without dying, and this ability was relevant to the new research that was published. The authors of this study found evidence that this toughest of all microbial life forms could have survived on Mars if it had evolved there instead of here. Although Mars is continuously bombarded with toxic and deadly cosmic radiation, it is possible that these life forms could have survived if it had evolved on Mars instead of Earth. Scientists who have studied the question think that microbes that evolved on Mars billions of years ago would look a lot like the microbes found on Earth today. So, the fact that Conan the bacterium could have survived Mars-like conditions suggests that bacteria native to Mars might have the same ability. If life evolved on Mars, it would have happened a lot longer ago when the planet had an atmosphere, warmer temperatures, and water that flowed across the land. If Martian bacteria have managed to survive to the present day, they would have had to adapt to a completely frozen planet where temperatures average negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 63 degrees Celsius in the mid-latitudes. The environment on Mars is additionally hostile due to the constant exposure to deadly ultraviolet light, gamma rays, and solar-generated high-energy protons. If there was any flora or fauna on the Martian surface in the past, it would be long gone by now. Nevertheless, microbial life forms are extremely resilient and adaptable. If Martian microbes evolved on Mars, they might have been able to survive some of the harshest conditions imaginable, like those found in Earth's deserts and Arctic regions. Is it possible that they could have survived the descent of Mars? The scientists who took part in the new study wanted to answer this question. Michael Daly, a professor of pathology at Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences in Maryland, led a team of biological scientists who chose some of the toughest and most adaptable microbes and fungi in the world and put them in conditions that would be like those on Mars. These extremophiles can live in environments that are very harsh for all other living things such as very hot or cold temperatures, toxic chemicals and gases, and other conditions that kill normal cells. All of these organisms were exposed to continuous heavy doses of ultraviolet light, gamma rays, and high-energy protons in carefully controlled laboratory conditions to see how they could handle such exposure. Once this phase of the experiment was completed, the scientists took samples from the organisms to test for the presence of manganese antioxidants, which is a biochemical that is formed in microbes after they have been exposed to radiation. 
A microbe's ability to make manganese antioxidants is a defense mechanism, and the more of these protective molecules it can make, the more it is protected from intense radiation. Even though they are tough and can bounce back, most of the extremophiles used in the experiment did not make enough manganese antioxidants to survive a Martian-style radioactive attack. But there was one who did, Conan the Bacterium. This extremely resilient molecule was able to withstand 28,000 times the amount of radiation that would kill a human, and that protective capacity would be enough to make it viable on Mars, even as it is today. To make the experiment more realistic, the bacteria were frozen and dried out, making it in the suspended state it would have to be in if it could stay alive on Mars. Surprisingly, the experiments on D-radiodurans showed that this durable microbe could have survived on Mars for as long as 280 million years, if it burrowed far enough underneath the surface. To limit its radiation exposure to a manageable dosage, it would need to be 33 feet or 10 meters under the surface. It could still survive for 1.5 million years even if it was buried just 4 inches or 10 centimeters beneath the surface, and was regularly hit with massive amounts of cosmic radiation. Even at these depths, the radiation on Mars would be strong enough to kill other types of bacteria, but it seems that D. radiodurans could withstand it while in a state of suspended animation, so they might be able to be brought back to life if the conditions were right. Obviously, the scientists are not suggesting that Conan the Bacterium is somehow alive on Mars. This is a purely terrestrial organism. But if life ever did evolve on Mars, the experts think that the simplest microbe life form would probably have a lot in common with microbial life forms on Earth. It would include the ability to survive in extremely harsh conditions, assuming evolutionary pressures were required. While it appears that Martian bacteria could have survived for a long time under the planet's surface, there is some question whether they would have endured until the present day. Due to the lack of liquid water on Mars for the last two billion years, any bacteria that may have evolved on Mars would have had to retreat below the surface that long ago. Without water to sustain them, they would have remained in a dry or desiccated state and, after 280 million years or so, they would all presumably have died. According to Michael Daly, this wouldn't necessarily push all ancient bacteria into extinction. He said in a Northwestern University press release, Although Deinococcus radiodurans buried in the Martian subsurface could not have survived dormant for the estimated 2 to 2.5 billion years since flowing water disappeared on Mars, such Martian environments are regularly altered and melted by meteorite impacts. We suggest that periodic melting could allow intermittent repopulation and dispersal. If this theory is correct, it's likely that there would be living bacteria under the craters that are less than 280 million years old. In older craters, it is unlikely that any bacteria spawned during the melting event would have survived for very long, even if they had retreated as far beneath the planet's dry and frozen surface as possible. Thankfully, there are several craters on Mars that are younger than this deadline. The European Space Agency and the China's National Space Administration may decide to target those locations for explorer landings after research showed they could be prime locations to dig in the soil looking for microbes. If that is the case, it may not be long before one of these organizations announces that they have found proof that life exists on Mars and that it is still there right now. Conan the bacterium has numerous chromosomes and other genetic material in each cell, as well as a lot of manganese-containing antioxidants that help remove DNA-damaging chemicals. If similar microbes evolved on Mars, they too could still be alive today, which is unlikely but not impossible. Even if microbes that evolved on Mars died out, remnants of their proteins or other large molecules might still be there, offering hope that future missions might be able to find signs of former life. 
So, what do you think? Will we find such organisms under the surface of Mars? Did Mars previously have thriving fauna? And will we be able to terraform Mars into habitability? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.